Hi, welcome back. In this section, we'll begin the process of understanding one of the most important settings inside a DSLR camera, which is called shutter speed. Now shutter speed is a very exciting setting to learn because it enables you to take a lot of cool looking shots like light trails, star trails, motion blur shots, light painting shots, freezing action, and so much more. And of course, we have dedicated exercises for most of these things to teach you exactly how to take these shots. But of course, that is much later on in the course, once you understand what shutter speed is and how it works. So to start the process of understanding shutter speed, you first of all have to understand what a shutter is and how it operates inside a DSLR camera. So let's look at a diagram and a video to see how the shutter works and then let's see what shutter speed, shutter speed is and how it works. To understand the concept of shutter speed, let's first understand what exactly is the shutter and how it works. So we've already seen this diagram before in the ISO section where we learned that the aperture allows the light to go through and then when you press the shutter button to take a shot, the mirror goes up, it allows the light to go through and the shutter opens up and it allows the light to fall on the sensor. So let's first of all take a closer look at this shutter. A shutter comprises of two curtains, the front curtain and the rear curtain. In a few seconds, we'll actually be seeing a video of how the shutter looks and how it works. But before that, let's just understand the mechanism. So when you press the shutter button to take a shot, we've already seen that the mirror goes up and then what happens is the rear curtain goes up, the front curtain goes down, and this allows the light to pass and fall on the sensor. Then the rear curtain closes and the front curtain again closes to finish the exposure. Let's see a video to understand this better. Here is the video of an actual shutter working. Before I play this video, I just want to clarify that the credit of making this video goes to a YouTube channel called The Slow Mo Guys. I really want you to check out that channel because as their name suggests, they are experts at making extreme slow motion videos which are just beautiful to watch and this video is just an example of how good they are at their work. So again, the name of the channel is Slow Mo Guys. So let's look at this video of a slow motion video of how the shutter works. So you'll exactly see what we've discussed before. So as I play this video, you can see that the mirror goes up and then you will find that the front curtain goes down and then the rear curtain closes to finish the exposure. And the time between the two curtains opening was the time when the light was allowed to pass through and fall on the sensor. And this is what we are interested in. If we come back to the diagram of the shutter, what we have seen is that the shutter opens and allows the light to pass through and fall on the sensor and then it shuts down. Now the duration of time between this opening and this closing is called shutter speed. Now we've already seen that on your camera, you can actually change this value of shutter speed. We've seen that you can rotate the command dial to change the value of shutter speed. Now let's say we change it to one by 100. So what does this mean? This means that we're telling the camera to use a shutter speed of one by hundredth of a second. That's how shutter speed is measured in fractions of seconds. So the duration between the opening and closing of the shutter in this case will be one by hundred of a second. That's what shutter speed means. Now we can keep on rotating this command dial, let's say to the right side. And what you'll see is that the shutter speed fraction, it keeps on changing. That means the denominator keeps on becoming bigger, which in turn means that the fraction keeps getting smaller or the shutter speed keeps getting faster. So whenever you increase the denominator value, what you're doing is you're making your shutter speed faster. That means the duration between the opening and closing of the shutter will be very small, a very small amount of time. That's why it's called as the fast shutter speed. And on most cameras, you can go up till one by four thousand of a second. And on some cameras, even up till one by eight thousand of a second. Later on, we'll be seeing from the next video onwards, how does a fast shutter speed impact our shot? 
But right now, all you have to understand is what fast shutter speed is. Now let's also see what a slow shutter speed is. So this time, if I rotate the command dial towards the left side, we can decrease the denominator value, which basically means that we are increasing the amount of time in which the shutter opens and closes. That means the shutter remains open for a longer duration on a slower shutter speed. Like for example, here we are on one by four, which means one by fourth of a second, half a second, and then you keep on going. And what you'll find is that at some point, you'll start to see these inverted commas. Like here, you can see two inverted comma. Whenever you see this inverted comma, it basically means a full second. So right now, the shutter speed is two seconds. So it always doesn't have to be a fraction. We can even have a whole number, like a full second. And on most cameras, you can go up to 30 seconds. You can actually go more than 30 seconds also by using something called as a bulb mode, but that is something we'll be seeing later on. But 30 seconds here would mean that if you were to take a shot, the shutter will remain open for 30 seconds and it will allow the light to fall on the sensor for a complete 30 seconds before closing down. And again, later on, from the next video onwards, we'll start to see how a slow shutter speed also impacts our shot. But right now, all you have to understand is what fast shutter speed is and what slow shutter speed is. That's great. So now you know the concept behind shutter speed and you know how it works. We've also seen that there are two different types of shutter speeds, slow shutter speed and fast shutter speed. From the next section onwards, we'll be seeing how these different types of shutter speeds impact our image. So let's see you there.